How's it going? Today I'm going to unbox the 70 My Power Station Terra 1000 because it has a whopping 1000 watt capacity with a patented 2 in 1 inverter which integrates the power adapter. And what's incredible, you can run anything under 1200 watts that will be able to run on these plugins. So let's quickly unbox it. Ooh. Here's the manual. <laughs> All right. Whew. Both hands can fit on there to lift it out. This is the top and it's the handle and it's rubber. So it's a nice little rubber grip to it. Pretty big unit here and it is heavy like I was saying. You see here, there's a big ventilation and a fan for when you got a lot of peak power to go through and it is metal. And then on the bottom, there's a rubber so that when you place it on the table or on the ground, it's not gonna be, you know, rocking around and moving. It's a non-slip type of deal there. And on the other side, it seems to be the same as the right side. Back side, this is where we're gonna quickly plug it in to charge when you're at home. Okay, and just before I get into more of this front area, we're just gonna see what's inside this little pouch here. And this is where we're gonna carry all the cables. So here is the carport cable and the power supply. And we do have a little film protection there. On the bottom section here, we have three household plugins and this is what's gonna turn on the AC. So this does run on different sections. You just gotta click them on and there'll be a light indicator there. So anything under 1,200 watts will be able to run on these plugins. And this section right here with two inputs is for the solar panels. You got a round and a second type of cable connection that comes included with the solar panel purchase. So we have a regular USB-A, a USB-A quick charge, and we have type C and type C. So you can see 18 watt and 60 watts. We have a 12 volt and another 12 volt. And then on this side, gadgets that need to use a car charger. So these little windows on the side are actually little LEDs for lights. And in the middle is all the display settings, volts and watts and what's plugged in and how it's running. It's a TFT screen to display everything. We're gonna click on power. So that means we only have 1% left of the battery capacity. So that means we're gonna have to charge this up before we really get to use it. Clicking on the A, you see output Auto off, no load, so you can select different things there going up and down. And then check mark. Clicking on this, here we have the flashlight. Little flashlights on the side. SOS. So you can see little lights there. They're not too bright, but they're there. And then we have here AC fast charging. You can turn that on or off. Obviously, you select it. And then we have here the timing. You can set a timer so it turns on or off and go next output settings you get the voltage frequency and what you want to see go back one go down there's a factor reset there's a language that you can change to troubleshooting guide and then the timing so very simple not a lot of complications to use this it is going to be a emergency situation if your power ever goes out or situations like going camping going to an event that you can't plug into an outlet your camera equipment run studio lights run your fans to keep you cool even run a heater on this if you have to anyway let's just turn this off press and hold and let's check out that solar panel all right here's the solar panel as you can see what it's going to look like inside this not only does this look really nice, but it screams quality as well. Okay, so this front camera obviously shows you the quality up front, up close. It has a little zipper here that we can undo, and it gives us multiple charging plug ports and extensions. Like that. Here's the what we'll plug into the front of the power supply, and these will be to the solar panel. And this cable is attached. This doesn't come off, it's already inside of it. But you can see other ports as well. So you can literally run the solar panel without a power generator, as long as it's in the sun. You can power whatever device you have with 100 watts worth just through the sun. No need to have a battery. Type C as well, a little LED indications there. Put these back in for now because I'm gonna take it outside and show you. And it all goes in there. But there's another pocket here. And this is the kickstand. On the back side we also have another kickstand that you just pick up like this and it'll clamp down. It does have a nice little handle there. It, this one is a hard plastic so you can hold on. All right, I'm gonna open it up now. And it's using a magnetic lock to keep it closed. And on the top camera if this can pick it up oh it really 
expands. Obviously, I'll be taking this outside and closes up pretty good. So what I'm gonna have to do first is plug this in to charge on my outlet or take this outside and charge it. Obviously, depending where you live, if you get a lot of sun, you can charge this outside more often compared to where I live in Oregon, Portland area to be more exact. We get a lot of rain through the whole year, but we have awesome summers, which is the times that I go camping anyway. So this is gonna be perfect for those situations. Hopefully there's enough sun to showcase how it works because we're in the middle of fall and it is rainy season, but don't worry, you're not required to use a solar panel. This is simply an additional accessory to charge off grid. Of course, plugged in is much faster. I saw it go to 330 watts as input compared to solar panel charging, which does up to 200 watts. And here I'm gonna show you some examples of plugging in devices. You obviously can do other kinds, but this is my watch here, just plugged in. It uses very little watts, so it's not gonna be any taxing to this power station. The tablet here, once you plugged in, you can see things turn on, 12 watts between my watch and tablet. Let's plug in another thing. There's the phone. That's gonna give me 17 watts of being used. And then we're gonna plug in a charger to plug in my power tool here, see the battery. And we're gonna plug in a light, and the light's gonna be a 60 one watt so far with everything plugged in what you're looking at everything I plugged in is 63 watts that is pulling not only do we still have more ports available I got lots of watts to spare and we're gonna plug in my electric bike battery in here and once we plug that in we're gonna look at the wattage just under 80 watts for all this on the table that's plugged in so you can only imagine you got around 900 watts to spare here's a 500 watt tool it's gonna be a paint sprayer I can plug it in and you can see once it's running 520 watts and it'll give me 56 minutes remaining with how I'm running with the paint sprayer and everything else plugged in there of how long it will last also the Terra has a galvanized steel inner body which is a much stronger design than the others that use aluminum alloy. So that's what gives the Terra its weight, its higher durability, and better drop-proof performance. Anyway, only you can think of a what situation you can use these power stations for. So yeah, if you want one for yourself, you already know what to do. Find it all in the description down below. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Later.